Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're just sitting down to do a quick uh, what I got for Christmas video, which I don't even know that I've ever sat down and filmed a dedicated video like showing the gifts I got uh, because typically I mean I always vlog Christmas and I vlogged Christmas this year which I'm like working on editing that vlog right now so I'm not sure which of these is going up first but I typically always show like everything as I'm opening my gifts in that vlog and same for my husband but this year I like focused obviously on my son now that he can kind of like understand opening gifts and stuff so I didn't show the whole entire gift opening process in that vlog which I kind of wish I had, but also I feel like this also is like a little bit of an easier and quicker way to just kind of like show y'all what I got for Christmas. If you are curious at all, I honestly love watching these videos. I think it's fun to like share what you were excited about or what you asked for or what you got like surprised with or whatever. And I got some really, really sweet gifts. So I guess without further ado, we can jump in. I'm going to try to keep this fairly short and sweet. And um, I can also link up whatever I'm able to down below. Let's get going there isn't like a ton of stuff here so we shouldn't be here for <laughs> very long i'm very much in like a sherpa moment as i feel like most of us are especially in like the cold cozy weather so i got this one for my husband this is from the alpine design brand at dick's i believe and i just absolutely fell in love with this whole like design like the color story with like the kind of navy blue and the purple and the green it's got some different textures too because it's got like the sherpa but then also the green um it's more kind of like a windbreaker sort of material it has that on like the bottom too and this is a little bit more kind of like not like cropped cropped but it kind of hits like right at your hips kind of so it's like not too oversized or anything like that it's kind of more of just like sort of an athletic-y sherpa to throw on with like leggings and sneakers like running errands or anything like that but it's got a cute little zipper it's got like regular pockets right here this lining on the inside is like insane insanely soft and what i really like about it it kind of gives me like lululemon kind of scuba vibes because it sort of has a little bit of like a collar and then a big hood so it's super cozy but also still very athletic looking i feel like i sort of get like patagonia vibes from this so dang cozy and just different i feel like i have a lot of like solid color sherpas so i'm excited to have something with a little more color and i'm going in like literally no order i'm just grabbing stuff this is the the ornament that my husband got me for this year we always get each other an ornament every single year and this year he got me a little youtube one with my subscriber account and it's so cute all the different like little graphics on there there's like the tripod and the headphones and the ring light like little airpods and it's so cute and so thoughtful and obviously he had to like customize with my name and my subscriber count and everything like that. So I love that. I'm so excited. That's like so creative and thoughtful. I thought that he kind of like thought to do a personalized ornament like that. And like look how cute this little boxes this next gift was like so 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 super special i think i did show this in the vlog but this is our cat that passed away um about a month maybe a month and a half ago now and he got this off etsy it's a cute little like personalized necklace kind of like engraved well it is engraved like there's texture to it and it's a picture of her and it has her name on it and honestly they did so well like she has a lot of colors and textures to her fur so i'm honestly so impressed that they were able to kind of like get really the details of her on there without you know making it just kind of look like a blob this is so cute and so special and i just love it so much i haven't even worn it yet because i wanted to show y'all while it was still on the box but i cannot wait i'm probably gonna put this on today i think that is so sweet so special it is so her and i kind of love that i have a little something of her even if i don't wear this like every single day i just love that i want to have this hanging in my little like jewelry display in my closet it's just so meaningful and so special i literally wanted to cry when i opened this because like oh, i'm gonna cry right now even thinking about it. like that's my girl like that's just that's her so special i really obviously i think we all really love like extra special meaningful gifts that were just like very thoughtful and that is definitely one of them um some of these things are just stocking things too actually like both of these were in my stocking he put a little ghost energy drink in my stocking because we love that he got me um my favorite popcorn the skinny girl popcorn he just put the one in there and then had the box like on the side so <laughs> kind of a stocking stuffer but he got me a whole box not just a single bag of popcorn and then also this starbucks coffee which i'm so excited about this is like the perfect stocking stuffer i feel like because everyone just loves like a super like delicious like special coffee and this smells so good and it's like so cozy and seasonal and then he got me this hat this is um from the 47 brand i actually don't have a yankees hat and i feel like everyone just like needs 
a Yankees ball cap like in your hat collection. So I love this one and this is the, um, I'll link it down below. It's like the cleanup style. I don't know what that means, but that's the style of hat from 47 specifically that like flatters me the most. Like that's the only one I've like tried some and had to like send them back because they just didn't fit right, didn't look right. This is the kind that like I really love. I honestly need to go on there and like order some other colors and stuff because now that I found like the perfect one, I have one other color, a Los Angeles Dodgers one. This is like my favorite style of baseball hat. I love the color. I don't have any like hats this color at all. So I'm so excited. I have a little bit more jewelry here, which I'm so excited about this one. Like, typically when it comes to jewelry, I have like kind of hinted to Ken at what I want or like send him like specific things. But this was a little like kind of random thing that he picked out on his own from Etsy that was so extra special. And I was so excited, especially because I really don't have many bracelets. Like I'm really not much of a bracelet girl, but now I definitely am because this one's so cute. I'm hoping you'll even be able to tell what it is is it's like super super tiny but it's basically just like three little like you know kind of coin charms and they're just kind of like typewriter stamped with a k and a c and then a little heart i really don't know yeah i feel like you can kind of see there it's kind of hard to show all three of them and like a really pretty rose gold which is like the same kind of like material like colors as the necklace so they pair really well together and I just love like he said he loved how like kind of dainty and simple it was which is right on my alley I love that kind of style so so cute I love the little charms like I like how they're so tiny and I like the typewriter stand so cute and thoughtful he usually doesn't just like kind of gamble on jewelry for me so this was like so random and unexpected and I was so so excited. I'm also going to try to wear this today as well. And then this pair of earrings is from Amazon. I sent him the link for these because I got a set of earrings like this from Target and they lit I wore them once and they looked like garbage. Like I literally, and I can't return them or anything. I don't have the packaging. So I'm hoping these hold up a little bit better. But these are just like my favorite size. Like when I was wearing those Target ones, I was obsessed with the like size and shape. Like they're not like too big, but they're not too small. I like how thick they are. So they're not like super imperceptible, like they are big enough to notice, but they're not like they don't feel like big hoops. They're literally like that perfect, just like everyday hoop size and shape. And I just, I love them. Hopefully these hold up a little bit better. I'm definitely like in the market to find a good quality pair of these, like not from Amazon, but I haven't found any online so far that are like the right dimensions, I guess, like the right shape and size and color. Because I want a pair of these that's like good quality since this is like my new favorite like shape and size of earring. I want a pair of these that's like real, you know, gold so it will last to me this is like the perfect just everyday gold hoop just to like wear kind of no matter what like if you're in something bummy or if you're wearing like a sweater and jeans like these are the kind of earrings that look good literally no matter what i am a hardcore beanie girl obviously so i actually realized i didn't have any like just simple black or simple white beanies i have a couple like with pom-poms or you know what i mean like i didn't have any that were just like simple black and white just kind of like everyday beanies and i love Carhartt beanies are my favorite. I'm wearing a Herschel one today. I'm like kind of a Carhartt girl when it comes to the beanies. So Ken got me just a plain black and a plain white. So I kind of have like some simple staples. Like I feel like I have so many different colors in these. I was like, how do I not have a plain white or plain black? Oh, I guess I should mention because he did get me this, but I have it on my phone already. He got me a Wally case, which I'm so excited about. These are so cool. They just look like really plain in the front. They're just kind of like clear. At least this one is, but they have a pocket for cards and stuff. I have like a coupon here that I had in here, but they have a pocket for your cards or whatever and then they also have a loop but it like lays flat it's not like the loopy cases or you know like a pop socket where it sticks out it's a loop that just has like an elastic so it lays flat when you want it to but it functions as like a hoop or a loop or you know whatever when you need it to and then you can actually kind of like stick it like up and sort of use it as like a kickstand it's not overly bulky and it's honestly like pretty like soft and like cushy and it's a really really nice material they have a ton of super pretty colors but I love this one it's it's nice and neutral kind of has fall vibes but I feel like it's just sort of like an all year round sort of look and I've been loving having a loop on my case again but one that like doesn't like kind of impede the ability to like lay your phone down or stand it up or anything like that so I don't know I might be a Wally cases convert I really love my loopy case and I have a lot of cases that I love but I feel like in terms of functionality and also just <laughs> this is pretty freaking cute and then my husband also got me this which I'm so excited about because I was originally asking for like a really heavy kettlebell for Christmas and I actually ordered 
on Black Friday a really heavy 55 pound dumbbell from Best Buy of all places, like so random, but it was like 40 bucks or something. It was a crazy good price. I can link that down below. I'm sure it's probably not on quite the same sale anymore, but I got a super heavy dumbbell, which that's like the heaviest dumbbell I have now and I needed that so badly. And I wanted some kettlebells as well, but obviously it doesn't really make sense to have a bunch of kettlebells, at least for me and like our, you know, gym setup. And I literally didn't realize that they make kettlebell grips. This is from Amazon. I think there's a lot of companies that make something like this, but it basically just has like this clip and it opens up and you can slide your dumbbell, like the handle of your dumbbell right into here. Like these are kind of heavy duty. Like this has a lot of grip to it. And when you shut it, this clip, like it takes kind of a lot of effort to shut it. And then it, it's not easy to unlatch it either. So I feel like this is high quality and it's going to like safely hold my dumbbell. But I mean, either way, when you're holding it, you kind of have to hold it shut. So regardless of whether, you know, this is super intense or not, it's definitely very safe because it wouldn't just come open. Your dumbbell can't like come flying out or anything. So I love that this can basically convert any dumbbell to a kettlebell. So you don't actually need to like purchase the super expensive, which I kind of wanted the Bowflex adjustable kettlebell, but that's obviously pricey and it doesn't really get that heavy. I think it goes up to like 30, maybe 35 pounds or something. I wanted something like pretty heavy. So I love that I could put like something fairly light in here, like a 20 or 25 pound for doing like kettlebell swings, but I could also put something really heavy in it and do, you know, like sumo squats and things like that. Like this kind of makes what you have in terms of dumbbells a lot more versatile because you don't have to buy kettlebells. You can use what you already have and switch it up. So I love that I can use this for literally like any exercise with any dumbbell. So cool. I love that it's kind of like a fun bright orange. This is from Amazon, I believe. So of course, like I said, I can link it. Literally a game changer. I feel like I should mention one of the most exciting things. <laughs> Maybe I should have like started with this, but what I was most excited to get is my Shark Flex Style, which he didn't like surprise me with this or anything. I knew I was gonna get this because I've had my eye as we all probably have on the Dyson, but obviously I was not going to spend that amount of money on it, especially not knowing if I would like it, how much I would use it, things like that. As like a mom, I'm not really like doing full on blowouts every single day or anything like that. I just really like having my hair kind of like wavy and you know styled to some degree. So I thought this would be such a cool option to try, especially because it obviously has all the different attachments. I love that it can be a blow dryer and then also kind of a curling iron, but then also it can sort of function. I have the Revlon like one step you know kind of like brush styler I feel like this could potentially replace that or maybe like work a little bit better I'm not sure I feel like I could potentially eliminate a lot of the tools I already have if I end up liking this but I'm not like under the impression that this is going to curl my hair the same as a curling wand I know it's more of like kind of a big blown out like waves sort of look and that's why I keep saying if I like this because I haven't tried it yet I'm a little bit intimidated just because I know there's kind of a learning curve in terms of the different attachments and curling it one way versus the other way and the cool shot and you know all I just feel like this is a learning curve with the Dyson or any like product like this I feel like you kind of have to try it out a lot and get used to it and see what works best with your hair my hair holds a curl pretty well right now but that's typically because I use a lot of product and I do like really small curls I'm not sure how well my hair is gonna hold with something like this but I have just heard really really good things and I am really excited about it especially for the fact that it has like so many different functions but I am a little bit apprehensive and intimidated by like the concept of learning how to use it and I'm hoping that I'm gonna like it. Maybe I'll do a video on it or maybe I'll vlog um, when I try it out or maybe I'll like vlog kind of like my thoughts after I test it out show y'all how I used it and stuff like that so definitely stay tuned. I feel like that would be fun to kind of like address in a vlog and then my husband got me the Ashley Flowers book which I am so excited about. I am a crime junkie through and through and I honestly just love her it's not even just crime junkie like any of the shows that she does like the deck and supernatural and like just anything that she is either part of writing or narrating I just I love her content just kind of across the board I like her voice I like how she tells stories I like the structure of all the different podcasts that she's a part of and I obviously love reading and I love a thriller like that's my number one thing I just love sitting down with the book and typically I'm always reading something that's like very suspenseful and all of that so this book was like something I had to have I'm so so excited about this book I cannot wait to crack into it and then just a couple of things left my husband got me these Nike sneakers which I am so excited about I love these so freaking much they're like so simple but I love the platform I'm not like typically a platform girl because I'm like 5'9", so I'm already like plenty tall. I don't need any help in the height department, but I love chunky shoes, platform shoes, all of that. I think these are so fun. I like the like black check with like the, I don't know, kind of like neutral, sort of camel colored like piping 
around it. That's what the back looks like. I love the chunk. I like how there's like a little bit of detail through like the chunky platform. There's kind of like some texture on the front and the back. They're just so nice and simple. I feel like obviously we all just love a good like simple white sneaker and I feel like these are that but just kind of a little bit of a fun spin on it. Like they don't really have much on the top but they just have a lot of just like white and then just like two neutral colors. So I feel like these are the kind of sneakers that you can wear with literally everything. I love just a sneaker that's so versatile. This could be worn obviously like in the summer with like dresses and stuff like that. I feel like white like chunky sneakers with dresses is so cute but then with shorts with like athleisure like leggings and stuff kind of more sporty with like baggy jeans like there's literally not a single outfit that these wouldn't go with and just be so cute and comfy kind of make it a little more casual i love these and also one of our really really exciting gifts which i don't have with me but i just have this here to show from my in-laws was our nintendo switch that was our like main gift from ken's parents which we have been loving i've honestly like joked about getting a switch for years with ken like as a gift for me just because i thought it would be fun to have for you know just like something for ken and i do together at the end of the night when the baby goes to bed you know rather than just like watching a show or to have for road trips or obviously like in the future for Cole to be able to potentially play with and stuff like that and he was always like no 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 you're never going to use it you're not going to be into it my husband is like a gamer on his pc but then finally this year I was like what are we going to ask for he's like I think we should get a switch and I was like oh my gosh <laughs> finally so they got us a switch it's like the oled one we've been having so much fun we got zelda breath of the wild and then we got the mario party game which I've been loving that <laughs> <laughs> that's so much fun and then i just ordered mario kart i really love racing games <laughs> i'm like literally six years old but i kind of like just like fun like simple games i don't like a ton of strategy like i'm not a gamer in that way and then for ken i got like a whole bunch of different accessories so i got this like kind of travel case there's um like a protective screen in here there's like little protectors for the controllers i'm really excited we've been loving it i like it so much more than i expected and now i'm just like this is a money pick because i want like so many games and the games are so expensive okay so y'all literally just finished <laughs> filming this video and realized I had like an entire pile of stuff on my bed of stuff that I got for Christmas that I obviously meant to include in this video and it was out of sight so it was out of mind so I'm popping in really quick to show all these last a couple of things that I got for Christmas whoops I just had to flip the mic around so <laughs> Hopefully this sounds better, but this is um, kind of like a merch piece from Lindsay Girk. If you don't follow her on Instagram, you really should, especially if you're a mom. I feel like she is like the ultimate mom influencer and she's freaking hilarious. And she has this whole story with flamingos and kind of like when flamingos, I guess when they give birth, they kind of like lose all their pink and they kind of turn white. And then over time, they kind of start getting their pink back. And she kind of made that sort of like an analogy with motherhood and how, you know, sometimes it's hard to find yourself again after you have kids and kind of like switch into the whole mother Roll. and I just like love the whole message the items she designed are just so aesthetic and so cute so she kind of came up with this whole get your pink back sort of movement and I just think it's so cute so I ordered so this was one of my Christmas gifts she has like hoodies and beanies and a whole bunch of different items but I just got this big oversized t-shirt like it's literally branded like with her signature and everything so cute it's a really nice material like it doesn't feel super cheap or anything and I feel like this logo like the whole aesthetic the font the color so so cute it's just like a big giant t-shirts this is gonna be so fun you know with bike shorts in the summer and stuff so so cute love that and then my main thing that I wanted was just a whole bunch of new sports bras I just feel like all my sports bras I've mentioned this in some vlogs and stuff like that oh this is Lindsay by the way so cute but anyway my sports bras i feel like i have just so many that are just so plain and simple which is obviously nice for pairing and styling and things like that but i really wanted to kind of like revamp my sports bra collection and just have some like fun colors fun designs patterns things like that just to kind of make my outfits you know when you're getting dressed for a workout i'm sure if you work out you know how it is you just kind of want to feel cute and feel like you have like a fun little fit on so this is literally just like a big old pile of <laughs> new sports bras they're all from dicks um they're all different brands so like this is so, so like i said i will link everything down below this one's from Calia a really pretty kind of like a square neck like it's got kind of thick straps and a square neck and it's kind of like a, I hope you can see kind of like a metallic like really like monochromatic zebra sort of print it's pretty simple in the back but just something a little bit different in terms of pattern and color and just like the shape of it and then this is a really pretty like hot pink under armor I love the super skinny straps and this material is insane it's like 
kind of squishy almost like really 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 soft such a fun different color it sort of got like a v-neck and then the back just has the logo on it and then i love this nike one i thought this one was just kind of fun and different because it like sort of almost looks like you're wearing like a triangle sports bra over like another sports bra but it's all just one the padding is in this kind of bigger like bandeau and then this sort of lays over it with the nike logo and then as you can see it sort of got like a mesh material on the inside the nike Nike logo on the back. I just thought this mint color was really pretty. And again, like I said, I want just sports bras that are just a little different. And I feel like the design of this is just so unique, so pretty. And then here's another Nike one. This one's really cool because it has like these two straps. You can kind of see they start down here and then they kind of like come up and under and they sort of like I don't know, they sort of kind of come out almost like between your boobs. It just kind of makes again like what could be a very simple like normal sports bra, just a little bit more interesting, like an added kind of design detail in the front, sort of like coming out of the sports bra. This is a really like, kind of like a thick, like perforated almost material. So I feel like it's gonna be very breathable. I like the kind of subtle logo on the bottom there. And then the back is just like a simple, like a mesh. It's honestly like kind of see-through so it'll be really breathable and then it's just got kind of this cool like four strap design in the back so i feel like even from the back it's pretty and then the front again is just a little bit different and then this is again another nike one i feel like you can probably sense a little bit of a pattern here i just loved the two different colors on this one i feel like this will be so cute to pair with some black leggings it's just got like a band down here it's padded kind of a v-neck and then it's sort of like strappy in the front if you can tell it's got like the two little crisscross design again Again, anything with like some cute just like added design features is like what I was going for just some things that are a little different and then it's sort of like a little bit of a racer back in the back and there's like kind of a mesh little cutout I feel like this will just be again like fun and different but also will be easy to mix and match with different color leggings because of the colors that are in it and I love this like bright yellow right there and then this one is from dsg i believe yeah there's the brand on the back this is a super super soft like smooth material and what's kind of fun about this one is it goes up kind of high and it's just got the one strap here but then it kind of has like two straps like essentially what would be one strap just sort of cut in half on the side over here so i thought that would be again just like a fun little spin on like a normal sports bra but i also really love this pattern it's so pretty really soft it's got a band here it is padded and then the back is just plain with the dsg logo and it is like pretty high like it goes kind of all the way up to your neck on the back and then again the front is pretty high as well so i feel like it's got a good amount of coverage a good amount of support and then this is actually another version of that same um nike one that i showed y'all right here just a different colorway i loved this orange with the white and then the blue little logo there and again it's got kind of like that crisscross detailing in the front so pretty and fun and different same with this one like this is probably the most kind of interesting in terms of pattern that i got like look at those fun colors with the blue and the pink little pop of yellow and then again, super like strappy. I guess the front like doesn't look super, super strappy. I feel like that's all kind of in the back. The strap sort of split and then it's sort of like a crisscross strappy sort of situation in the back which is so fun and then again a little like mesh window there so so cute i actually just ordered some more sports bras from lululemon because they're having a really good sale and i feel like lululemon always has some really pretty like fun patterns and colors and stuff like that too so yeah this is like the new workout bra <laughs> lineup i have to definitely kind of rearrange and reorganize my sports bra drawer but i'm so excited just to have some fun different pieces and y'all know i work out every single day so i wear the crap out of my workout pieces and then last but not least my husband he kind of like surprised me with these i didn't like suggest these at all but he got me some kind of you know youtube like techie type products which i'm super excited about he's very good at like being thoughtful in regards to like things that i don't even realize that i need and so this is um like an attachment for your tripod basically what i'm using right now and you can essentially hook your camera to one end and then a weight on the other end so that you can essentially like have the tripod here and have your camera looking down like a bird's eye view over you know whatever you're doing i feel like probably people that do planner videos use something like this so rather than having it on a tripod and just kind of being able to angle your camera a certain amount you can literally have your camera face all the way down for when i'm filming videos about cooking or like taking pictures this just now gives me the option to have my camera completely like this without me having to hold it obviously and i've never really had the ability to do that so i didn't even know this kind of accessory existed 
literally had no clue. I don't even know how he realized this was a thing, considering he doesn't do any of this camera stuff. But I'm so excited. I feel like this would be so useful for, like, obviously very, like, specific situations. But I feel like this is one of those things that's just good to have. So that'll be fun to try out i've never been able to film that way before and then this kind of sort of goes like along with that this is a stabilizer for your smartphone so obviously i'm sure you've seen with like a big you know cameras and stuff you can just like hold the like handle essentially and move your phone or your camera around and it just like keeps everything very stable that's what this is for your iphone but it also has like kind of an extender handle and it like folds up super small so i feel like this will be really nice for portability for when we travel for doing like vlog footage things like that you can just like hold it and not really have to like worry about how straight or like shaky you are like this totally stabilizes everything and for me that's really tricky obviously this is for your phone it's not for your camera but I feel like a lot of times when I'm filming specific content like most recently for Suvi I did like a whole like four video ad campaign with them that they were using on their social media and it was very tricky to get kind of like the moving shots that I wanted with my phone without it just being so shaky or like a little bit too fast or a little bit too slow this will solve all of that for me and obviously even like not for YouTube purposes if I just want to film stuff with like my son or anything that we're doing especially traveling I just feel like this will be so nice to have to just get some really nice smooth footage I'm so excited I feel like if I really end up like using this a lot and loving it I would probably want something like this for my camera as well just because I feel like this kind of just takes whatever you're already wanting to film and makes it just like better quality and honestly even a little bit easier because you don't even have to like worry about keeping things straight or flat or smooth I'm super excited about this this is also a really really good like smart idea that he like thought of on his own so he did really really well we really lucked out if you guys want to see what Ken got I did include some of that in my Christmas vlog so like I said that will be linked down below depending if it's up or not and I did film everything I kind of did a separate video which I can link of what I got for my son my toddler he was just over one years old at Christmas time so I filmed the whole video just like showing you everything I got him and then I also filmed like as he was opening his Santa gifts in the vlog so I will link both of those videos down below if you're just like curious what I got my husband or what we got our baby for Christmas but this is everything that I got I think I was like literally trying to round everything back up because obviously things kind of get chaotic Christmas morning but I think this is it and honestly like at the end of the day I'm just not like an impulsive shopper I wouldn't say but I just like I shop a lot like for myself obviously throughout the year so it's honestly kind of tricky because when people ask like what we want or what I like would need or anything like that it's hard because like if I typically like have my eye on something or especially if I see a good deal I just kind of snag it so it's a little bit tricky so my husband can kind of like come up with some ideas of his own or I actually like have things that I've been eyeing that I haven't purchased yet it's kind of rare <laughs> so that is everything that I got I kind of like am Santa to myself all year round so any like little extra things I get at Christmas I'm always so excited about and it's always like very meaningful getting things for my husband even if they're things that like I had my eye on to like get them from him and kind of always have them and wear them and be like oh like he got it for me I feel like that just makes it extra special and obviously as our son gets older I think it will be even more special and exciting when he kind of like starts getting into like gift giving and can pick out things at the store or kind of have his own ideas I feel like oh my gosh I can't even imagine how special it will be getting gifts from your kiddo whether like they're old enough to think of it themselves or not like I feel like that just makes it so special I cannot wait for that but anyway thank you guys so much for watching like I said everything will be linked down below for y'all to check out and definitely let me know what y'all got for Christmas what you asked for what you were surprised with what you were like most excited about I would love to know and until next time I will see y'all in our next video bye guys